I want to explain to you how you can get to six figures as a personal chef in your first year. And it's actually not even that hard to do. So I want to explain it to you because I think just understanding it and seeing the path forward is half the battle. So you have to be clear on where you want to take your business. If you're not clear, you're just kind of throwing it to the wind and seeing what happens. And that's not a way to run a business. So first of all, before I explain to you how to do this, I think it's important to understand that making $500 a day is not that much money. So you it may seem like a lot of money to you if you're coming from the corporate industry or if you're coming from a lower paying position, but it's important to understand that there are people out there who pay their chefs $750 a day. There's people who pay their chefs $200,000 a year. There's people who pay their chef thousands of dollars a day to do a special event. There's people who pay their chef, um, you know, $10,000 a month on a retainer basis. There's all sorts of things. Personally, me, myself, I was paid $15,000 for two weeks of work um, 20 years ago. So I'm just showing you this to reflect that $500 a day is not a lot of money if you package the offer in a way that's value based. So let me put it to you this way. If you have a client who is getting a week's worth of meals for you and you make $500 off of that client and they're paying $500 for you to do a week's worth of meals, that is a value based offer. They're getting a great value and you're getting a great pay. Um, now having five clients like that would get you to $10,000 a month, which is a six figure salary. It's not that difficult to find five weekly clients. So that is one way that you could get to six figures in your first year as a personal chef. And this is getting a little long, so I'm gonna do a part two right now on how uh, some other ways that you can get to six figures.